Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher, and thanks a lot for taking a little time out of your day to watch the video. I always appreciate that. And guys, today we're gonna sort of go over a simple uh, solution or a simple way to choose the right color of plastic worm or any soft plastic. Um, there are so many different colors out there available to choose from, different flakes and tints, that I, I know it's confusing. It's confusing to me at times because there's so much good looking stuff out there. But I've got a sort of a system that can give you a foundation to where begin to or to begin from, so it's a little bit less intimidating. So we're going to get into that in today's video. And real quick, guys, just wanted to give you a reminder: if you guys are getting ready for some fall fishing trips, to please check out our fish our fishthemoment.com fall lake map breakdowns. These are breakdowns that I've made for most all the lakes across the country. Um, it gives you 40 good GPS waypoints you can download straight to your depth finders to begin your search with tips and advice how to fish each spot and um, you can duplicate them around the lake and uh, if the lake that you fish is not on our website you can book a virtual lesson with me to go over any lake so I'll put the, the link in the description for that much appreciated okay guys I'm going to keep it pretty simple here because in in my opinion there's pretty much um, four basic color categories as far as soft plastics that, that's all you need to know all you need as far as it covers about everything now you may have, depending upon the soft plastic you use, like I use Zoom, but you may use Yamamoto or whatever, they all have different type of flake and you know, different you know uh, degrees of color and certain colors, but there's really four categories that fit most every condition. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you my four favorite colors and I'm gonna sort of describe the scenarios that I fish these in, water clarities. Okay, so anyway, let's get in the first one. The first one is just uh, the basic of green pumpkin variation. This is a green pumpkin trick worm. And guys, the green pumpkin is probably the most versatile color out there. When you're talking about water clarities with the green pumpkin, you're talking about any water visibility of about over two feet. Green pumpkin will work in gin clear water. Um, it'll work down to two feet. Ideally, I like my favorite color for green pumpkin is probably that sort of that three to five foot visibility. And uh, you can go straight green pumpkin or you can go green pumpkin with a different type of flake. I They make one that has a purple flake in it that I really like. Um, also guys, I'll put that Baitworks link in the description. They got a good selection of Zoom in there if you wanna look for some, but um, per, some type of purple or red flake, it seems like I could like a little bit better. Um, I don't know if it's confidence or what, but like I said, you can't go wrong with green pumpkin. <clears throat> Water visibility is over three feet. Now the next one is some type of a watermelon watermelon candy. This is a watermelon candy color right here. And you can see the little bit different variation from the green pumpkin, it's not much. But one of the things I like about a watermelon candy or some type of a, uh, of a watermelon or green pumpkin that has a lot of flake in it, <clears throat> it works really good on cloudy days or windy days. So, <clears throat> excuse me guys. So say, for example, you're catching them on green pumpkin and it's partly cloudy or sunny out and you've got three or four or five foot of visibility in the water. If you've got a situation where you've got uh, cloudy, rainy conditions, uh, try fishing like the watermelon candy or some type of watermelon or green pumpkin that has flake in it. Flake really works good uh, in cloudy conditions and it also works good in some type of uh, tannic conditions. <clears throat> tannic conditions are usually caused by some type of vegetation in the water. So that's my favorite for there. The next one, guys, my favorite is a red bug. Now the red bug here, it's a little bit of red tint, a little bit of flake in it like this. You can see it up here. This is another one of my favorite colors. I use this in a little bit more off-colored water. So if I've got water visibilities that are sort of like in that foot and a half to two foot range, something like that, uh, red bug is just a great, a great worm for that. And also a red bug, guys, if you're fishing a little deeper water, say you're fishing over 15 feet deep, um, I catch a lot of fish on a red bug in deeper water. It's one of my favorite summertime plastic worm colors. I think a lot of it is like, even if you have clear water or cleaner water, once you get down to 15 or 20 feet, you're losing that light penetration. So sometimes the, the, it works a little bit better with that. But um, I catch a lot of fish on this flipping and pitching. It's one of my favorite colors also. I like to flip and pitch around docks, flip and pitch around flooded trees, bushes, lay down trees, something like that. Really good into that one. Um, and also guys, when you're talking about a red bug color, another color that's called June bug, which is sort of purple with green flake, it can also work very good in a similar situation. So your June bugs, 
plums and your red bugs are good in that scenario. And the last one, guys, is a black or a black with red flake. I catch a lot of fish on a black worm and I always have for many years. <clears throat> this is my dirty water color. So anytime the water visibility is under, uh, you know, about probably 12 to 15 inches, I'm using a black worm. Most of the time I like just a straight black like this. You get a lot of bites in dirty water on a black worm. And a black worm doesn't work that good if the water's clear, even if it's rainy and cloudy out. It's strictly a dirty water color. Ideally, my favorite situation for a black worm is if you've got about 12 inches of visibility and you've got shallow cover. If, I'm, if I've got 12 inches of visibility and I've got docks to fish or stumps or grass or lay down trees or reeds or lily pads or anything like that, I'm going to a black worm. Black worm is hard to beat, bass will bite it. Now, I think one of the reasons a, uh, a black works really good is that um, some lakes have leeches and eels in them, and a lot of those leeches and eels are black, so uh, it works pretty good with that. But anyway, guys, that's the four colors mainly. Uh, some type of a green pumpkin, some type of a watermelon with some flake in it, red bug, june bug, or plum, and a solid black. That's about all you need, and uh, it'll catch you a lot of fish. So hope it helps. We'll see you guys later.